The, the first big hurdle is the people that are in our industry are very strong, independent women. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we don't want to listen. Yeah, I didn't want to listen 10 years ago. So that's the first big hurdle. I think a lot of people think that their craft will get them the success. The craft is 10%. You know, you can be the best technician in the world, but if you don't know how to run a business, you ain't going to get clients. If you don't know how to market yourself, you're not going to get clients. You can't automate your system, use the online tools out there, target your clients, email marketing. You don't know how to do all the tech side, you ain't going to get clients. And I think since, since COVID especially, I've really noticed that the beauty industry are still years behind. I think everybody has pivoted and evolved and created and embraced the online world a bit. And I'm not saying do treatments online, but I'm meaning there is so many things online that can actually take you hours and hours and hours of time out of your day-to-day -day runnings of a business that can be done. Now, you go into the industry because you want to create fantastic eyebrows. You want to treat clients. You like, you have that kind of like the attributes of a nurse where you want to look after people and make them feel confident. But a lot of these people don't know how to run a business. They don't know how to run a business. They don't know how to do all the other parts of it. And that is the part that needs the money spending on.